Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through how to install Endeavor OS. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot the disk and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. So I'm on the EndeavorOS.com website. I'll put a link in the description below. And the first thing that we'll do is go to the downloads page. So hit download up top in their nav bar. And then we'll be scrolling down to find the ISO. So here is their latest stable release. If you go down here, you'll see that the ISO ships with the following items. So it tells you what kernel that they have and a couple other items like uh, the Firefox version, the icon set that they're using, as well as a couple other things. So we'll keep scrolling down to go find their download. So you either have a torrent download or a direct download from here. We can simply hit the direct download and it will start downloading automatically. So the next thing that we want to do now is to go ahead and flash this ISO onto a USB CD or DVD of our choice. Now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch the Belena Etcher app and use the Belena Etcher app in order to flash the image onto a USB or CD of our choice. Belena Etcher is an easy to use application available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk. So go ahead and select the image that we just downloaded. So hit the select image button and you see here that we have the Endeavor OS 2019-09-15 x86 64-bit so that's for a 64-bit computer here. Select that ISO, hit open. And then the next thing you'll do is go ahead and put in a USB or CD DVD that's completely blank that you would like to go ahead and put this ISO image on and create a bootable disk from. And if you put that in your computer, it would automatically populate. And if you have more than one USB to choose from, you can always hit the change button and go through and select which one you want to flash the ISO image onto. So finally, just go ahead and hit the flash. You might get asked to go ahead and put your administrative password in. Go ahead and do that. And then the flashing will start. After you flash the disk, you'll take it over to the computer or server where you want to install Endeavor OS on and then insert it. Then you'll have to boot into your BIOS in order to change the settings around and select a newly created bootable disk to boot first. This is usually done by finding the correct key to boot into BIOS for your particular computer. Usually it's one of the F keys like F2 or F10. Then you have to find a tab usually called boot order and exchange the order so that the bootable disk is first. After you have that set up, you'll save and exit out of your BIOS. And then you should see a similar screen to this if you did everything correctly. And if everything went successfully, you'll see this screen here where you can select what you want to do with Endeavor OS the live bootable disk. So Endeavor doesn't have the option to go ahead and install it right off the bat. Instead, you have to boot the live image first. As you can see down at the bottom, it says it allows you to install Endeavor OS or perform system maintenance if you boot into Endeavor OS. So we'll go ahead and select this option. Go ahead and take a moment to like the video if you've made it this far. It really does help me out. Some information about Endeavor OS, it's based off of Arch Linux and offers an alternative to having to build your own Arch Linux environment. Endeavor OS offers a lightweight, user-friendly XFCE desktop environment that comes pre-installed and it remains on the cutting edge of releases so you know you'll be up to date with the latest and greatest. If you don't want to go through the nuances of setting up Arch Linux, this is a great alternative that gets you close and with an already running desktop environment. And once the live image is booted in, you'll be greeted by the Endeavor OS greeter here up top. What we'll do is use the greeter to go ahead and start the installer. So go ahead and click the start the installer option. And you'll get a pop-up of the installer. Here it's warning me that the system is not plugged into a power source. It just wants to make sure that my laptop doesn't go ahead and power down in the middle of the installer. I'm okay right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and then select what language I want to use for the installer. American English is fine for me. Go ahead and hit next once you've selected yours. And then we'll select a time zone. You can select a region and then a zone, or you can go ahead and click on the map. I'll be in New York today. So 
after you've selected what region and zone you're in, you can go ahead and hit next. Following that, you're going to get an option for your keyboard layout, American English US, and the default is fine for me. You can select whatever works for you, and you can also test your keyboard down here in this text field. Go ahead and hit next whenever you're ready. Here's where you get to go ahead and select your storage device as well as what you want to do with that storage device. So if you have multiple storage devices, you can go ahead and hit this drop down so you can get a list of them. Select the one that you want to use. Of course, be careful to select the correct one and make sure that the one that you're installing Endeavor OS on is completely free of any data and is cleaned off so you can go ahead and overwrite whatever's on there currently. You also get to choose whether or not you want to add swap with or without the hibernation option. Uh, I don't really need swap. I have plenty, plenty of physical memory. Swap is mainly just used as an overflow if your physical memory were to get full. You can also choose to encrypt the system here. I don't, want, I don't really need the system encrypted, so I will not select that option. And then here it shows you what will happen after you partition the current storage device that you have selected. So right now it's unpartitioned and it will be partitioned by, by Endeavor OS. And then you can also select where the bootloader location should be. You can select uh, different places if you have more than one SSD or hard disk, or you can even choose not to install the bootloader if you choose to do it later. Go ahead and uh, select the same SSD or hard drive that you currently have selected as your, as your storage device. That way you get a nice bootable storage device after we're done installing. Then hit the next button. And now you're gonna get asked a few things. So what's your name? My name's Savvy Nick. And what login do I wanna use? Savvy Nick is fine for me. What's the host name of the computer? Savvy Nick as well. And then we'll put a password in. Then you'll be asked whether or not you want to log in automatically without asking for the password. Or if you want to set this new user up as a administrative account. I like being able to log in automatically, so I'll go ahead and select both options and then hit the next. And now you're just gonna get an overview of everything that's about to happen. And it tells you the location and the languages you have selected as well as uh, what keyboard layout you have and what will happen with the partitioning scheme. If you're comfortable with everything, go ahead and hit install. And at this point, it says that it is going to write all the changes to the disk and it cannot be undone at this point. So if you hit install now, it will begin installing and erase everything on the disk currently. Go ahead and hit it. And at this point, the installer will go ahead and set up everything as well as install the base system with any packages that it comes with. After this, we'll go ahead and remove any live media we have and boot into our newly installed system. So we'll give this a moment to finish. And once the installer is finished, it'll tell you that it's all done. And in order to go ahead and boot into your new system, you'll have to go ahead and restart. So go ahead, hit the restart now checkbox and then hit done. Also go ahead and make sure that you remove your boot media while that's happening. That way it doesn't go and boot right back into the live image. Congratulations on the installation. You've now installed Endeavor OS successfully. We're just gonna look around real quick. Here at the bottom left, you can go ahead, sort of like a start menu, select and go through all sorts of subcategories, as well as hitting the all settings, lock the screen, log out, search for things, and uh, go through and select applications inside the subcategories. And then on the right-hand side, bottom, you can see that you have different workspaces that you can select from for right here, a link for the network settings, sound, battery life, as well as the time. 
I hope you enjoyed this installation tutorial of Endeavor OS, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them below in the comments section. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos, and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.